Hey, this message is for Donald Trump. This message is for you. Do not speak on my brother's name. And I'm making you a promise. You will not be in the White House come November. You will not be reelected. I'm telling you now. You see how the whole world stood together. Arm to arm, race to race. Everybody standing for love. 50 states, 18 countries. That's what me and my brother Floyd did. So we coming to get you out the White House. Donald Trump, don't speak on my brother's name. That damn show wasn't a compliment. Just know, the 18 countries and the 50 states that protested, we coming to get you out the White House. Stay tuned. Enough is enough. That was the last straw. No justice, no peace. AK Marv produced. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah K. I post lip videos and lit content and that's on period. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I post my next video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about everything that's been happening lately. You know, George Floyd's case, the Black Lives Matter movement, everything about that. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into this video. So when I first heard about George Floyd's murder, I felt like nothing was safe anymore. I felt like if they had the guts to stand there and watch another police officer, just like them, kneel on his neck for nine minutes, bro, nine minutes. Like if you have the guts to do that, what else can you do to a man that didn't even have a gun on him and even if he did have a gun on him there was no reason for you to like kneel on somebody's neck like what is wrong with you what is really wrong with you the system has been messed up from the beginning like I'm tired of institutionalized racism I'm tired of these stereotypes of black people and how we are so ghetto and everything is just Anything that has to do with black people, it's always considered bad. How? Why? Why do we consider these things to be true? Why was it ever even made? I don't get it. Us blacks, we've been through too much from the beginning and enough is enough. That was the last straw. No justice no peace and george floyd is not the only one that has suffered police brutality eric garner died in the same way he did i can't breathe i can't breathe it's it's so sad to think about because what type of human being would stand there and just watch you not breathe just because of the color of your skin are you kidding me are you kidding me it's gone way too far. And even recently in the news, you see this elderly man trying to protest for Black Lives Matter and the police just push him and he, he falls and he like cracks open his head, I guess, and he starts bleeding from his ear. Like, what? what is it? He wasn't a threat to you. He's 75 years old, what are you gonna do to you? This system is really messed up. Like we need to stand up and do something about it. And all these social media influencers that we be supporting, some of them don't even like talk about this stuff. They just make stories about it. Like, yeah, okay, a story's fine, but we need you to speak up. We don't need you just to put like one post on your story and that's it. No, we need you to speak up. You, you want us to support you, but you're not even supporting us. You're not down for us, so why should we be down for you? 
y'all got mad money and y'all love to flaunt y'all money but then when it comes to donating to a good cause y'all broke now right where was all that talk about oh having so much money and like oh i'm married to the money i do all this for the money okay where's the money now if you want to flaunt your money so badly, that's fine. But use it towards a good cause. These are our people's lives. You can't replace a life. You can replace all these stores that are being looted, but you can't replace a black life. You can't. That's why I say black lives matter till I die. Because this is, this is, it's crazy. It's really blowing minds. I literally found out and tears were running down my face because what is wrong with this country? And then we got a president that is supporting the police, brutalizing us. Like, are you serious? And then people have the nerve to defend him. People have the nerve to defend him. And then after they defend him, they say, oh, I'm not a racist. Oh, I have a black friend. Oh, I have a black cousin. Oh, I have a black husband. Who cares who you have in your family that's black? The point is you're supporting a president that is putting down the lives of our black community. And he doesn't care. He doesn't give a crap. And y'all still voted for him. Y'all still voted for him. And it's just crazy to me because we knew who Trump was. We knew who he was before he was even elected. It's crazy to me. Y'all just voted for him because he's a Republican. Y'all voted for him because you didn't want Hillary in office. But look at the damage being made with him in office. Look at the damage. And God forbid he gets reelected. God forbid. Because no way. Enough is enough. And yes, there have been moves made towards justice, but we don't have total justice yet. That's why these protests will not stop until we have full justice. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Freddie Gray, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin. There's so many. It's hard to even remember all. It's gotten out of hand. Us Black people, we need to stand up. Even the white people, y'all gotta stand up for us. If you wanna be our friends, y'all fighting so hard just to say the N word, but you're not even fighting hard for us to have our life, to be able to live. That is more important than you ever saying one word. That is more important. And y'all can't even stand up for us? Granted, some of y'all, y'all been standing up. And I see that and I'm thankful, but we need more of y'all to stand up especially the black community, y'all need to stand up. If you can't go protest because of corona and you, you're scared, that's fine. Post, keep posting. If you have money, donate. It's not that hard. Provide awareness to other people. And y'all influencers that have the platform that y'all grew and people are supporting you, the more information you give out, the more people are going to support you. Because why? We know that you're writing for us. So we'll write for you. you. Can't ask for support and not give it. So we need y'all. This is the most important time. We need y'all right now. Like we really need you. Because there's no reason why a black life should be taken by a policeman because of the color of our skin. There's no reason. There's no reason for it. I'm really hot right now. Like, I'm hot. I'm just heartbroken by what has been going on recently. It's bad enough that we have this pandemic, but you're gonna kill black lives? You're gonna kill our people? We already have enough people dying. Why are you trying to add to the, to the number? For what? There's no reason why you should be doing that. No reason. Too many people have died under police brutality and we need a change. We need to make a change. We can't wait for that. We have to fight for that. We have to take it. Because if we don't take it, 
it's never gonna come. The last thing I'm gonna say, watch who y'all support. Watch it, watch closely. Cause the people that y'all writing for on social media, your favorites, if you are a follower of these influencers, you need to watch them. Because if they don't speak out now, are they ever gonna speak out? And you're gonna be the same one supporting them? You gotta watch it. Watch them very closely. I've unfollowed a few people. I've unfollowed a few influencers because they didn't want to speak out. And it's not right. There's no reason why me, as a small black YouTuber, should be speaking out. And you, as a big black influencer, it could be YouTuber, it could be musician, it could be anything. If you have a big platform, you should be speaking out more than these small ones. And even the small ones, I commend you for speaking out because that's our duty, that's our job. And if we can't do our job, then what are we here for? What's the platform for? What's the following for? We need to make a change. And that starts now. In the description box, there will be links to GoFundMes, there will be links to donation um, websites that you can go to and donate. Um, there will be links to articles of information about not only coronavirus, but also the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there will also be tips on how to stay safe during protests and a lot of other things. So on a lighter note, this hair is from Hair by L. It's a 26 inch deep wave frontal wig. Um, I really like this hair. It's very soft. I love the curls popping. This is my first curly wig. So this was a very good investment. Make sure to go shop now. Use my code Sarah15. It's going to be on the screen and in the description box. So make sure you go shop right now. Okay? Okay. So that's it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.